in FEMAP 2020.2, a preview option was added to Blends under the Feature Removal command in the Meshing Toolbox. When picking the solid, the Entity Select dialog box appears with the surfaces of the blends that were found. In this case, we see that some of the surfaces selected are not actually blends that we want to remove. Redoing this command, we can add a limit size, with preview still selected. When the Entity Select dialog appears, we can now remove some of the blends that we didn't want to select. We can also add some of the surfaces that were not found as blends. We've now gotten to a state that we are happy with, adding the surfaces that we needed and removing the ones that we didn't. We can now follow through with the command. Another addition to the meshing toolbox is the ability to use Extend Surface Replace Face. The old options of Extend are still going to remain under Curve on Surface. The new options you'll see in Surface Replace Face. For this example, we are going to select the base surface as the surface we would like to extend up to. Then we're going to use the multi-select to select the surfaces of the part number, in this case the letters, to extend up to what we previously selected. We've now successfully de-featured the part. Oh,